All right, so let's go over some of the super basics about Photoshop Actions, simply on how to set them up, how to install them, how to use them, etc. Uh, especially if you're new to that, right? So if you don't have your Actions palette open inside Photoshop, go to the window menu on top, click and down. There's a bunch of windows you can open, but Actions is what you want to open if you don't have it open already. Now, when you open it by default for the first time, you'll see it in this mode. Now, for the lack of a better term, this is the normal mode, meaning that, you know, you click an action and nothing initially happens. You have it and then you can push a button. I mean, excuse me, select an action and then you push these buttons on the bottom. There's a play button, the little triangle. There's a stop button, which is not on right now because nothing's playing and other options as well, which have to do with making your own actions, right? But if you're brand new to it, let's just strictly stick to playing them. So let's say I choose this one here, uh, the gradient map. It's one of the default Photoshop actions. I hit play and that happens. Very straightforward, very, very easy. But if you're a regular NBP watcher or you just started on the channel and seeing our products, especially our actions, you might notice that all of our demo videos start in something called button mode. You may not know what that is, but you've seen it. In your actions window, in the top right, there's these little lines, these horizontal lines, the very top right, little bitty menu, click and hold. You'll see lots of options. The very first one is called button mode. Click that or rather let it go. And there we are. You can now stretch the window any size and all your actions become these single click buttons. So now a minute ago, let me shrink it down to about this way. A minute ago, I clicked on gradient map. Remember that? Clicked it and then I hit play. Now I can just hit gradient map and it works. And that's button mode. Now, most of the time when you're not making an action or you're not using a complicated action that requires stopping and making decisions, etc., or modifying things and then continuing it. Um, button mode is where you want to be. And the vast majority of what we make an MVP for actions um, it works just great in button mode. And that's why we recommend it. But a lot of people um, have sent us emails recently saying, hey, what is this? I don't see the same colors on the actions palette. I don't I click and nothing happens, etc. Very common mistake. No big deal. Just want to show you. By the way, the same little menu, you can click on it again and you can go and turn off button mode and go back to normal mode. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. Now, as for installing actions, there's a couple of different ways, but the most straightforward way that works consistently. Once again, the same menu, same top right menu, click and hold and go down to load actions. And then you go wherever it is on your computer that you have saved your actions files. They're going to be with an ending suffix of dot ATN. That's it's like a dot JPEG or dot GIF or whatever. It's dot ATN. Those are the files that you're going to be looking for. And it could be actions you purchased from NBP, actions someone else gave you, you purchased somewhere else, actions that you made and exported on your own. Doesn't matter. If you have actions files, come to the top right little menu option, open it up and come down here to load actions. Find your file and those show up. They always show up at the very bottom list of your list of actions. You can rearrange and resort things and we can make more advanced tutorials on organizing your actions and how to use them in more advanced ways. If you guys like, leave a comment below. We can talk about that. But I want to mention that today to clarify button mode as well as the simplest way to load your actions.